In this video we will be looking at the new Wi-Fi device generator plugin. This is just a preview as the plugin is still currently under development. However, the main kind of aspect of the plugin is it's an easy way for users to create virtual devices on their ESLO controller and then we can assign HTTP commands. So for example, if we created a virtual on off switch, we could then assign a on command and an off command. And we can then control other devices outside of the ecosystem. So for example, devices like Shelly and Sonoff. However, this plugin, we could use it really to control any device or any application or service that can receive HTTP commands. So for example, I've already tested it with IFTTT webhooks and I was able to set up a virtual switch that sent commands out to IFTTT. And then in turn, I was controlling a Philips Hue bulb. Uh, we could also send commands to Node Red or perhaps you could send commands to an IP camera to change different settings on the camera. There's a whole host of different things we could use this plugin for, so it's gonna be very powerful. I haven't got the plugin installed, so we'll run through the installation process, and then I'll do a quick demo with a virtual on-off switch. So I'm on plugins here on the menu, Wi-Fi device generator. If we select install, it just takes us to this area. We need to select Marketplace up at the top, Wi-Fi Device Generator, and we need to copy that, copy that down to our private plugins. So copy, confirm, and then under, under My Private Plugins, we've got Eslo Wi-Fi Device Generator. If we then select Manage Installations. We then select the controller we wish to install the plugin onto. So we install. We can then return to the Wi Fi device generator menu item, and we now have this new page. So we create a new configuration template. Give it a name. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then select the device type. Now I've been told currently at the moment only switch and dimmer are currently working, but all these other device types will be coming online in due course. So we have things like door locks, sirens, doorbell, panic button. So I'm gonna just select plug switch. We then have categories and we can select various categories. I'm going to select switch category and some categories also have subcategories. So for switch, for example, we've got interior, exterior, in wall, refrigerator, valve and relay. So I'm going to select interior. We then need to add a capability. I'm going to select switch. Now this is where we start building up our HTTP commands. We select the communication protocol We've currently only got get and post. I'm being told we will be getting others like put. So I'm going to select get. So for this test example, I'm just going to send these two HTTP commands to my node red, which will in turn make the Google Home speaker do a TTS announcement. So I'm just going to select the data portion of the uh, URL. So that's the command on. So we're going to paste that into the turn on box. And then if we select the other one for off, and paste that in there. And we then save model template. So once the template's been created, we can then create the device. So if we press that cog button there, we can then give it a device name. 
So if we call it uh, ETS switch test MAC address, I don't need to specify for this example. So uh, I'm going to leave that. The IP address I do need, this is the IP address of my Node Red installation, so where where this HTTP command is being sent to. And I also need to specify the port number, which is that. And I don't need a username and password for this. And then we just create device. Device added successfully. So under devices here, under settings, we can have a quick look in here. And at the bottom, we should see our new TTS switch test device that's been just created. We've got some functions here. We can remove the device, edit the IP and port number and things. But if we go to the dashboard, we'll actually see the virtual switch on the dashboard. And also in our MeshBot rules, we can have the new virtual switch as a trigger or even as an action in our rule. So it's quite powerful. So on my dashboard, uh, let's find the new device. So there it is, TTS switch test. It's currently off. So when I turn this virtual switch on, it's going to send that on command to Node-RED, and Node-RED's going to make my Google Home speaker say something. So let's do that. So I don't know if you heard that, but it did say HTTP command on. And if we turn it off, it'll send the other off HTTP command. So off. HTTP command on. So that has worked. And if we have a quick look at mesh bots, if we create a new mesh bot local, and call this Wi-Fi plugin demo. So as I said, we can use a trigger and we can select our new virtual switch as the trigger if we search for that TTS switch test. So I could have this rule uh, fire its actions based on whether that virtual switch was turned on or off. Or if we had some other trigger, we could also use that new virtual switch as our action. So for my action, I could turn that that virtual switch on, which would then send the HTTP command on for whatever that was doing. So that's a quick look, really, at the new Wi-Fi device generator plugin. Uh, it seems to be a very powerful plugin, or it will be, when we've got all the templates and device types available. And I think we will be using this for lots of different things. Okay, thank you very much.